Now, further we'll continue with electrochemistry. We will learn some application of this. Um, one of the application is electroplating and we can use electrolysis for extraction of a metal and we can use it for purification of a metal also. So we will, before we actually go with the application, we will learn something called as corrosion. So we have seen that when iron material is left in open, it rusts and uh, a brown layer gets formed on it and that's called rusting of iron. So what actually happens to iron is, in the presence of moisture or uh, the presence of some acidic thing in the moisture and oxygen, iron gets converted in, it gets oxidized to iron oxide. It is the uh, coating of iron oxide, the brown iron oxide on iron we call as rusting. And once the uh, iron starts uh, to rust, the process is continuous till the entire iron gets used up. Or in a chemical language, the entire iron gets, conver gets oxidized to iron ions and we basically lose the iron. And we also see that silver vessels or silver materials when left in air for some time, you get a black or a brown, it starts with the brown coating which becomes black after some time. And this is called as tarnishing of silver because of the oxidation of silver to silver ions by atmosphere. And it is also possible that the silver ions combine with the oxygen, the sulfur uh, in the atmosphere and uh, a layer of silver sulfide gets formed on it. Unlike uh, iron, it's not, it doesn't eat up the whole of silver, only some of it gets um, converted into silver plus and once the silver sulfide is formed on it, uh, it prevents further oxidation. Same way, if you consider an aluminum also, a layer of aluminum oxide gets formed on aluminum and uh, because of the oxidation of aluminum. The same thing happens with copper also. It gets covered with the layer of green copper carbonate because of the oxidation of copper to copper ions and this copper ions combine with oxygen and carbon dioxide in air and forms copper carbonate. Now, uh, if you have noticed the Statue of Liberty, the green color of Statue of Liberty is due to this oxidation of copper to copper carbonate only. And uh, as far as uh, silver, um, aluminum and copper is concerned, the protective layer of silver sulfides, uh, aluminum oxide and copper carbonate protects it and uh, from uh, prevents it from further oxidation. But in case of iron, this is not the case. If you want iron to not uh, get rusted, we have to cover it with some other metal and that metal we call it as the sacrificial anode. So we will proceed further and see how this is done. Electroplating. Electroplating is a process of coating one metal over another by electrolysis. So the metal to be plated will act as the cathode and the metal to be plated on will act, uh, plated with will act as the anode. Well, what I mean by that is we just learned that iron get co corroded and if I want to plate iron with zinc, the iron will act as the cathode and the zinc will act as the anode. And uh, when you pass the current, the zinc will uh, get oxidized and then will move over to the cathode and uh, the zinc uh, ions which are formed uh, as a result of oxidation will get reduced and a coating of zinc will be there on uh, iron. This will prevent the corrosion of iron. We have other uh, common process also. The process of coating, uh, coating iron with zinc, we also call it as galvanization. Sometimes we plate iron with silver also. The silver is also sometimes plated with gold. Extraction of aluminum from its ore. The process of electrolysis can be used to extract aluminum from its ore bauxite. Bauxite is aluminum oxide. So when there's aluminum oxide, when you pass the electric current through it, it's going to, uh, it gets uh, converted into aluminum ions and oxide ions. At the anode, the oxide ions will uh, get uh, converted into oxygen and then at cathode, the aluminum ions has to get reduced and they will accept electrons and get converted into aluminum solid. So therefore, we started with uh, impure aluminum oxide and we 
and the result will be pure aluminum metal. So the next reaction is the aluminum uh, oxide gets converted into pure aluminum metal with the oxygen as a byproduct. So this method is extensively used in industry for the extraction of aluminum from its ore. Electrolysis are applied, is also applied for the purification of a metal. So, uh, an impure metal gets purified by using electrolysis. What we do is, we take pure metal, let's call the metal as N, and acts as the cathode, and the impure metal, N, again, we will because it's the same metal, it will act as the anode. So, electrolyte, we will take a suitable salt solution. When the current is passed, and the anode, uh, the impure metal, will get oxidized, will convert it, gets converted into ions, and these ions will move towards the cathode and will get reduced to reduced as metals. And this metal will be in the pure form and it will add on to the already uh, present cathode and uh, we get pure metal at the cathode.